Hello everyone, welcome to Writing Quest. My name is Brandon Pugh. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to build your world in Storybook Master Novelist for Notion. Huzzah! All right, so if you've seen some of my other videos before, you know that I am, uh, this is Storybook Master Novelist, and I've used this one before. We just did a video on how to create characters, but I wanted to go back in and show you a little bit more expansion on how the world building feature works. And so again, I'll do a quick little breakdown. Everything in Storybook Master Novelist is designed as a workflow. So as you work through it, it will collect all of these world building elements for you, all these world building elements for you. And so I'm not going to go through all of that today. We're definitely going to do more videos on brainstorming and outlining. We already have some, so check those videos out in our Notion playlist. So we're going to go into the world building section and everything that we've been doing as we outline and brainstorm our story has collected all of these things and characters into this one ginormous list. Don't be uh, overwhelmed by this list. It's broken down really well, so you can really only focus on the things that you want to focus on. And so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into your world. So I, the way I would suggest doing it, there's two ways I'd suggest doing it. The first way is start with what you're excited to work on. So like if you have a, a particular city that you want to work on that is you just really fascinated by and you have a great idea for just start there if you have a character that you love and you just want to really dis figure out more about that character start there if you are overwhelmed by all of that and you don't have any idea then i suggest just starting right at the top um, again, everything in this whole template is designed to start from a small idea and grow it into a big idea and that is the same with the world building engine in the template so Starting with worlds, everything is sorted on all of these tabs by series. So if you have multiple series, whether you split that up by multiple series within a series or whether you split that up by like, I have this series and then I have another one that's totally different. It's all sorted by series. So we're going to actually start here. So both of these worlds are in series one, but actually what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna create another series to just to show you what's really cool too is everything i said before about how it collects things in the world building section it goes the reverse too so if you create something new like a new i'm going to create a new series here i'll show you where that shows up here in a little bit so creating a new series i'm going to create series two so what happened here so currently this world is attached to both series which means it's in both things if i want to detach it from one i go click in there again detach from series one now I've got it here. Essentially, each one of these little tabs has three tabs for each. So we're going to start with general. And the general tab for all of them is the ideas, description, and history. So your world's ideas about it. What do you have? What do you know? What do you think about this? I'll dump everything you got right there. Then when you start getting kind of forming an idea about it, you can describe it. You can write what does it look like? What does it feel like? What's the weather, the temperature, all that kind of stuff? Then you can go into the history. What's the history of the world? Who came and went? Who's a part of it? What is the history of, you know, everything about it? You can go into that and keep that all here. And then when you come over to the characters and cultures tab, so your ideas and notes will transfer. So if I go, this is a note. If I go back to general, that's back here. So all of these ideas and notes from this tab will be available to you in the other tabs. So characters and cultures, this is where you can go in. And if you already have characters here, like I have, if you click on this, they'll, so these characters are appeared. They're ones I already created, but I haven't connected them to this world. So we're going to connect characters three and four to this world as well. Uh, I have some different cultures. We're going to add race one there, groups. We're going to add group one, et cetera. Go to locations and items, and then you have your different regions. We're going to add region one, and we're going to go to cities and towns. So this would be like, as I explained in my last video about this, this is kind of like, this is the world of Middle Earth. This is the region of Gondor. This is the region of the city of Minas Tirith, and so on down the line. You can add item, we're going to add a sword, and we're going to add a building. This also brings your notes over, but again, if I create another sword here, Two, and then we're going to add, um, spelled it funny, but it's all right. We're going to do uh, staff one. Obviously, these can all have different names. You can call them whatever you want, but this we're going to go with. So I just created a couple there, and those are now going to show up down in the items tab, which I'll show you here in a little bit. If you have multiple series, you only want to work on one, you can twirl that down, and you're only working on this series. If you have multiple worlds, they'll show up here 
etc. This is a really great, the multiple worlds thing is great if you have um, different, you know, like I think like Star Wars or Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere where there are actually other planets and things. This would be a great way to do that um, to kind of keep everything straight and who lives on what planet and all that kind of craziness. And then you kind of just walk down the line, you go to regions. So now you've got this regions where so one and two that we had before. So two is not connected to a series right now. So under the general tab, if you want to connect to a series, we'll connect it to series one. And now it pops down into that. And you just kind of do the same thing. You go to your ideas and notes, add your description, history, come over here to characters and cultures. You can connect all that stuff that you want. And this is where you can start getting the nitty gritty. So you have like, say region one is Gondor, region two is uh, Moria. So now you have different cultures and I have the humans and you have the dwarves, that kind of thing. Different groups, you know, all that kind of stuff. If a group belongs to two regions, you can do that too. It really helps just connect all the pieces and put it all together in a really nice and easy way. And you just kind of click through and do that. Same thing with locations and items, all that stuff. And then that is the same for cities and towns, buildings and fortresses and monuments, characters, cultures, groups, and even down to items. Like I said, I created those items here which we can delete these ones. And if you delete anything, it will delete it from all the other things that it's attached to. So that's really nice as well. Another thing is that each of these, if you go into them, I would suggest opening them up and then clicking the template button, which creates a new world. And what that does is it adds this stuff below, which we'll let it load here. So everything in Storybook Master Novelist is about navigation. So every single page of this template will give you this bar right here, which is navigating. So you clicked into this template. If you want to go back to the world building, you click that button, it comes back. You can click right back into the world. There you go. Everything that you've created for this world or any of the things in the world building section then gets listed here. Series, region, all that stuff gets listed. Your description, history, and all your notes. And then you have all of this stuff. You can start then filling in all of these notes for all of your world building, building stuff. If you have extra notes you want to take that aren't necessarily attached to a database. So location name, alternate earth, earth, not an earth population. I mean, this is all of that stuff. If you go into any of the other world building items or templates, they all have a similar thing like this. It's all the same. You can fill all that stuff out. There's a whole huge list of stuff. It's crazy for anyone who wants to get super in-depth. If you don't get in-depth, then you don't have to use it. But that's, you know, some people like to get really crazy about this stuff and some people don't. So I wanted to include it for that purpose. If you come back out here, you'll notice now World 1 has a actual little world by it, so you can tell that the template has been applied. I would suggest doing this for all of them. So if you end up going to your regions, I'm going to open this region up, do a new region, and then everything is connected. It also has all of this stuff as well. You can go back here, and now you can see that you applied the template to that region. Now, I know that in the world of writing, nothing is ever truly finished. You always want to come back to it. But if you do feel like something is basically done and there's not much left to add or be done to it, if you go to any of these, go over to general and you click the little complete button, it'll take it out of the workflow and it brings it right down here into the world building gallery. And so let me do that for a couple of things just so you can see what it looks like. Obviously, these are not completed, but for sake of doing this, I'll show you. Now, all of this stuff that's completed is in this world building gallery, which is a really nice view of all of your things. So if you go to characters, that one character is right there. If you change the, if you go into this and you change the cover photo and all that to like, say you have some drawings of your characters or a drawing of a map or something like that, all of that will show here. So it'll be a really cool gallery view for you to see everything in your world that you've created and that's finished. So that's a great thing to do. It's a really cool way to see stuff. If you if you want to go back to working on it, and you want to kick it back up there, just click the little complete button, comes back up here and it's available to you there. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if you have any uh, ideas or thoughts or questions about how the template works. I really think this template is a great way for writers to be really organized and have all of their notes and build their story Bible really well. So make sure to check it out. If you use the code WQ15, you will get 15% off of the purchase. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We will see you next time on Writing Quest. Huzzah!